Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a video of me doing my makeup. So I'm just going to voice over this video and then um, I'm going to test out this new baby. Um, yeah, this was a gift and I'm really grateful for the person that gave this to me. So thank you. Um, so yeah, we'll be using this palette today and I'm really excited. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So for foundation, I'm just using the Smashbox 24 Hour Hydrating Foundation in the shade 318. And I'm using a Real Techniques, Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend it all into my skin. For concealer, I'm just going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm not exactly sure what shade it is, but yeah. So I went ahead and primed my eyes, my eyelids, as well with the Revolution Concealer just to, so that I didn't have to do it later and it was already, my eyes were already prepped. To bake, I'm just using the Airspun powder, and I think it's in the shade Naturally Neutral. And I usually just bake under my eyes and where I crease the most, which is usually on my forehead and around my mouth area. So, yes. So now that we've wiped away the excess powder, except for the forehead, because I used, like to let that bake a little more, I'm using Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze up my face, and now I'm using the Madison Miller Blush in the, sh I think it's in the shade Sweet Stuff. Next, for highlight, we're going to be using one of my personal favorites, and this is the JD Beauty highlighter in the shade Heartbreaker. And it's one of my favorite new highlighters that I've recently picked up. And I've been picking up a lot of new highlighters. And I really love this one. If you guys don't have it, you should definitely go check it out. So once I was finished putting on my highlighter... I wipe off the rest of my powder and then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills spoolie to just brush out my eyebrows. I decided that in this particular day that I wasn't going to fill them in or anything like that. Okay you guys, so it is time to do the eyes. I'm really excited because we got the Urban Decay Honey Palette. So... I'm really excited for this palette because I've been doing a lot of like neutral gold looks and this palette is like 
my cup of tea. Like, just, it's so beautiful. The packaging, packaging is amazing. Is that powder? Let's wipe it. Good. Okay. So when you open it, here it is. Look at how gorgeous. Like, these shades are just like an everyday look that I would be able to create. Like, these are all my everyday colors that I would typically use. And it comes with its own little brush, which I'm excited about. And it has a great mirror. Like, this is a great mirror. So, yeah. We're gonna get our little... Don't miss the box there so you can set the palette on top of the box. Get our little brush. Um, we can use that. We're not going to use that quite yet. I'm going to take... Actually, you know what? I am going to use it. So I'm going to use this side of the brush. Not the flatter one. I'm going to use the creaser one. Um, and I'm going to take... Let's see. I'm going to take this shade Sweet to set my lids because as you guys saw in the last clip, we already used concealer to prime the lids. So now, we are just setting those lids. Okay, so for the crease, I think I'm going to use the shade right here. This is called Keeper. So I'm just going to lightly dip into that. I don't know how pigmented it is. And I'm just going to put this into the crease. Ooh. That's really nice. You guys can't see it yet. But we can go. I like this. It's more of like a warm, like... It's like a warm toned brown. It's very beautiful. Very neutral. It's very pretty. These shades are like super, like these shadows are just really blendable and they're very, they're just really easy to blend. Very smooth as well. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the shade right here. This is called Drip, just to darken up the outer edge just a tad. Okay, so for the entire lid, I think I'm going to take this shade right here and put that all over the lid. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to take the shade golden instead and put that one all over the lid. Beautiful. 
beautiful that is. Oh my god. I'm in love. Take a little bit more of Keeper and blend that in the crease as well to even it out. Make sure. I took a little bit of this darker brown sting and I'm going to put that on the outer edge. Like so. We'll blend that out too. We'll clean it up. But oh my goodness. So now I need to wipe off this. Or I'm going to take a different brush, I think. No, we can use this brush. So we're going to take this end of the brush and use the very end of it and get Sting and put this on our lower lashes. A little bit of golden still in there, which is good. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to soften out the edges. Like so. And then for the inner corner, I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to use this shade right here. Put that in there. Gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to use the same one that we used on the crease for the brow bone. guys so this is the look I really like it so one more thing I'm gonna add a little bit more of keeper to here just to soften the edges outer edge out just to Add. There we go. Gorgeous. Put your brush back in. Okay, you guys. So that's it for the eye look. I really enjoyed that palette. Like the colors were super nice. They were totally my shade. They're super blendable, which was nice, and I really liked that. Um, and they were just really easy to work with. And I think that it turned out pretty good. So, yeah. Let's do the rest of the face makeup, and then that'll be it. So, 
We're gonna do mascara. I'm just using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I was gonna put on lashes today. Or not gonna do that. I'm gonna get those lower lashes first. Alrighty. That's the lashes. That's the final eye look. Next, lips. So we're gonna use. I'm not gonna line my lips today. We're just gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Coconut Lippy. Just put a neutral. Brown color. Okay. okay you guys so this is the final look um i'm really in love with it i think it turned out great so for the last thing to set this makeup we're just going to do setting spray and then i like to just take my beauty blender and push it all in Blend, blend, blend. One last time. Okay, you guys. So, this is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video.